are a hero. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I take the seasick crocodile. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a minute or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little who stockings hung all in a row. These stockings, he grinched, are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present and he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. Now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Tree. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote: Stink, 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 stink. Mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of.